Hello, friends, and welcome to Activate and Thrive and to our weekly Thriving Thursday chat, where we chat with different beautiful health-minded and thriving-minded people uh, every Thursday at noon East Coast U.S. time, right here on Facebook, uh, as in a Facebook Live, and we also post it up to Instagram and to YouTube. So whichever platform you're catching us from today, whether live or later on in any of these platforms, we're so happy that you've joined us today. Look for these each Thursday at noon, East Coast U.S. time on Facebook. My name is Don Krishnaswamy. And I'm his better half. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Mia Krishnaswamy. And our keynote speaker today is Sarah Smith from Auburn, Maine. Sarah is a licensed medical massage therapist for over 19 years. She's launched three practices in three states and has spent her life just focused on serving others to make a difference in the world. She's a wife. She's a mom. She's an adventurer. She's also a fur baby mom. <laughs> She loves life and is dedicated to personal growth and development and just paying it forward in everything that she does. So welcome, Sarah. So happy to have you with us today. Our, yes, our topic today is living in alignment. So I'm just going to start off by asking you, what does that truly mean to be living in alignment and then piggybacking on that topic, um, what kinds of things do we need to get rid of in our lives to really be in that place of alignment? Mm, this is such a good topic and I'm so glad to be here. You guys are amazing. So thank you for having me today. I really appreciate it. We're so happy and, to have you. Know, yeah, and you know, this is something that's near and dear to my heart because as a kid, I mean, living in alignment started for me with this concept of following your heart and everything will work out. You know, it came down from my grandmother who said, honey, you know, she was from the South. She said, honey, you need to make sure that you do what you want to do right now, because five years from now it might not make sense. You know, she was the one that really gave me that idea of follow your heart and it'll all work out. Like the money will follow, the life will follow if it's, if it's feeling good in your body. So I knew from a young age that if it wasn't resonating in my heart, that I probably wasn't in alignment. And so, you know, living in alignment, you know, in some ways looks like everybody has their, their act together and things are so easy for them, right? Like looking into someone's life it, it, with somebody who's in alignment always looks easy. It looks like they're in the flow. Everything comes their way. They seem really happy. Like, what are they doing that I'm not doing? You know, exactly. like if you're, you know, if you're not in alignment and, you know, when we think about alignment, we think about, you know, a car needs to be in alignment to be able to move and function really well on the road. And if it's not in alignment, we might have trouble with the tire and we might have a breakdown. I kind yeah. of look at that the same thing. If our spines are out of alignment, being in body work, when I see that structure is out of alignment, usually different systems aren't working as well. And the mm -hmm. idea is that, you know, knowing and trusting that our bodies, our minds, our, um, you know, our, our spirit, you know, when they're all facing in the same direction, the results happen really easily. So that's how I like to look at like living in alignment, what it looks like. And there's so many facets to that. So I can go a little bit deeper, just, but I want to throw it back to you. And um, what was the second question you had? Well, just, well, what kinds of, um, things do we need to get rid of so that we can be in that place of living in alignment? I love what you said about, you know, your grandmother talking to you about following your heart. I used to sing a song many, many years ago, um, I'll follow my secret heart. And, you know, it, it's so true because sooner or later, if we're not doing that, then we're going to have to do it. You know, something's going to happen that makes us exactly. have to go back to what that is that really makes us you know, thrive and, and happy and joyful. Yeah. And I think, you know, really the things that we need to get rid of, I mean, easily the first thing that comes to my mind is negativity, right? If, if you have negative people in your life, you may not want to give them as much headspace or airtime, however you want to say it. Um, 
if uh, one is tuning into the news on a daily basis and is listening to the mainstream media, you know, there's not really a good news station out there, like a good news station, right? So, you know, be careful what you're feeding your brain um, on a daily basis. Um, if you find, like, like I'm thinking of the things that are evident when you're not in alignment, you could be feeling kind of sad and depressed. You could be sick all the time. Mm -hmm. I've, I've often noticed, and especially in my massage space, that when people are on my massage table that are sick, mentally sick or physically sick, however you want to say it, or out of alignment, there it's because maybe they're not in alignment with their purpose. Like when I think of people who are in alignment I, and living a life of alignment, they know kind of what their purpose is. And if somebody is showing up to you know, a job or a career that's no longer in alignment, that's really where the breakdowns start happening, where, you know, it's the negativity comes in, the, you know, the outlook, the cynicism is there, um, you know, you're not grateful, right? And so, you know, being out of alignment can come through as like chronic sickness <laughs> or a chronic mindset, you know, mm -hmm. anything that, that's like not easily moving, once someone who's been in alignment feels the frequency of not being in alignment, that's where, that's where they start doing the detective work. Like, okay, have I said my thank yous on a daily basis? Like gratitude is huge. Gratitude can shift someone, you know, out of that space of feeling negative. Because once we start accounting for the things in our life that are important, we, you know, there's a shift internally that starts to happen. Um, and, you know, and, and so I've seen this over and over. If somebody is, is not in alignment with their true frequency that's, that's there on that up-leveling kind of way, you know, that, that happens as well. And as a matter of fact, you know, when there's a breakdown in someone's life, um, they may feel really out of alignment, but that leads them to that up-leveling that's so important for them. Like that, that next level that's on a completely different frequency. So if we think about being in alignment is just really being um, focused in one direction, you know, kind of driven and the conscientious, the intentional, um, you know, goal of, you know, whatever that is for, for a person, right? It could be that it's a future that's yet to come, right? It's, it's something that you're going for in life. So, and if it's, if you have this big goal that's there to serve the planet or make a difference or, um, you know, expand who you are as a human being so that you can be contributing and be a connector, then that's really important to, you know, to being in alignment. When those things start to happen, when there's the misalignment, you know, it's, it's very clear. So, you know, my, I just love it because when I'm feeling out of it or not well, every time I look back at the breakdowns in my life, whether it was a sickness, whether it and mostly for me, it's been through sickness where I slow my entire life down. And what comes is this next leveling. It's this level up to another frequency. So, you know, living in alignment is, um, is just, that's where things come with these. That's mm -hmm. where you can focus on that same goal is where everything's kind of pointing in that same direction. Do you think it takes, uh, I have actually two questions, but do you think it takes, um, like once you feel like you're, in this place of alignment, is that just going to be, or does one have to keep on working at it to preserve it? It's work, Don. You have to work at it. <laughs> I knew the answer. I just wanted to hear you say yes, it. Yes, <laughs> it's such a good question because, you know, and and this is something I've learned just you know in my fifty-one years on this planet is that you have to fight for your happiness, right? And to me, happiness is alignment, and that means that you know, there are parts of our brain, there are parts of our conditioned thinking, you know, our industrial, you know, time, you know, like kind of what's rooted in our psyche. As human beings, we default, like our default in the human race is to default to the things that might not, might not be right, the things that are wrong, kind of, you know, it's, it's where our brains default to, just as humans, right? It's part yeah. of the human condition to find you know, the sadness or the drama or something going on that takes us out of alignment. So we, you know, have to fight for that. 
so that is having your daily practices to keep your mindset in a good place because that's really where it starts you know the alignment right. and making sure that you're connected um, right and yeah and then i if, think if, sorry go ahead well i have a part too yeah, did no, you want to comment on that no i just was commenting that with everything that we've been dealing with with this last year and a half plus you know sure. that you do have to fight for it because there's so many things that are coming at us and you know we're responsible for how we navigate those waters yeah Absolutely. If we can get a little bit autobiographical here, and mm -hmm. can you tell us, is there a time that you can identify in your life, maybe when you consciously started to make that transition from feeling like you're out of alignment to starting to live in alignment? You've mentioned a couple of times illness. I don't know if that, if those were turning points or, or where, do you remember a time when you consciously started making this transition? Or. Yeah, well, you know, falling out of alignment and then rediscovering alignment is 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 life, right? Because I think we can't be in alignment 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, and, you know, I, I mean, just like, you know, kind of eight years ago for me, um, I, you know, we were, we, my husband and I were on a path healing from Lyme disease. Like we were not well. We had a two-year-old daughter at the time. We were out of work. You know, we were, we were, it, we were in a place that was pretty dark, to be honest. And um, we didn't have an out. You know, and so we just, <clears throat> for us, I am a silver linings kind of girl, and I will look for, you know, I will make the lemonade out of the lemons, right? I love that because it's, it's really, it's about finding the, the, the breakthrough and the breakdown. And, you know, the breakdown for us was, you know, how many massages is it going to take for me to, you know, get us out of this financial crunch? Because we didn't know, you know, how my husband was going to, you know, really recover and, and be able to be back in the workplace. So he was out of work for like three or four months. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it, it was this time where we had to get creative and we had to look at different ways to creating income. And so that was really like the eye opener for us is like, wow, we, we would love to create something that when our hands were not in the mix at work, the paycheck still came and would come. So, so that for us was the breakthrough was like really discovering something where we could do that. Right. And, yeah. and it's changed our life, right. It was that up leveling to, and this expansion around, wow, you know, I have more control over my life. I can make a huge impact you know, and, and be in alignment. It was that next level up leveling of being in alignment to serve more people in the end. Mm. So you were receptive to something different than what you had known so that you could be in a freer place to serve yeah. others. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. We didn't have a choice. Yeah. And we knew that what we were doing wasn't working. Right. If you, you know, the definition of insanity, you know, it was like that. So, it was like, <laughs> you know, you got to change, you got to, you got to make the change. So that's, yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So sp speaking of health and alignment, do you feel like um, alignment comes first, then we find our place of health? Or do you feel like we need to find our health so that we can be in alignment? It's like, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? Yeah. <laughs> and <clears throat> so interestingly enough, it can kind of go both ways because for, for example, like if your back and neck are out of alignment and you have somebody go in and get yourself back in alignment, then everything lines up and you're fine. You know, at 51 alignment in my body looks really different than it did in my twenties, for example, right? Like, you know, the aging process. And for, for me, it's, it's around really having my finger on the pulse of cutting edge, you know, um, breakthroughs in, in the alternative space, you mm -hmm. know, whether it be flower essences, whether it be activation, whether it be, you know, what is going to serve my DNA and, and like, really as a massage therapist, it's like, that's, that's what I'm always looking for is like DNA health, because that's really the core root of it. So we know that as we age, we have you know, high levels of inflammation and garbage that builds up, right, in our bodies that typically has a hard time, you know, reversing and, you know, keeping us healthy. Um, 
the mitochondria, our energy, you know, tends to break down as we age. So, you know, it's really about like, okay, what's going to serve my body as it ages in a way that, you know, doesn't go down the pharmaceutical, you know, lunchbox, you know, um, path. And mm -hmm. so, you know, for me, alignment, you know, at 51 in my body, because remember, alignment is body, mind, and your soul, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, the body is your temple. So it's about finding ways to really keep your body healthy. So, you know, activating our body's ability. I've known as a body worker that the wisdom in our body is is there for us to tap into with the right tools. So, yeah. you know, definitely grateful for that. Right. And it takes the right thought to be able to access that as well. I mean, thought is very powerful. Yes, we want to activate our bodies. That is key to keeping them healthy as we continue to mature in years. But it's also, you know, our, our thought plays a very powerful part in that, you know, things become thoughts, thoughts become things. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Thoughts become things, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So Sarah, can you talk about what kinds of blessings specifically um, and improvements you've seen in your life from starting to live in alignment? I know you've talked about that a little bit with the financial uh, piece of it and how that's definitely, you know, where you can make money when you're sleeping, <laughs> you know, but, you know, which is important because stress is also a big part of what could cause people illness, you know, right. and, and not feeling in sync with their purpose and, and in having that joy, you know, that inner joy. Yeah. I think, you know, the, the blessings for me, like if I'm in alignment and I'm committed to my personal alignment, it really affects everyone else in my life. So, you know, <clears throat> the, the gifts are the unfolding of what's happening with the people around me when I stay in alignment. So if I'm taking care of myself and my DNA is activated and my spiritual practice is strong and my, you know, physical body feels really good, it, it like starts on the quantum level affecting everyone around me. And I feel like the biggest gift is for me to, to be working on me and being in alignment. I think the gift is that everyone around you starts aligning, mm. you know? And, and that to me is, is the power of taking the time to be in alignment, like, and, and really be committed to that. Because when you're committed to that, um, I, I just took some really beautiful pictures of a lighthouse this morning with me. And it just, I love the, the concept of the lighthouse because that is who I'm committed to be for my network is like, you know, and my, you know, all my friends and family and extended, but I want to be the lighthouse during these times for people. Mm -hmm. And so my commitment to helping others is really the true gift. And that's when you're in alignment, that's really the only time you can see that, you know, and that's what it gives you this, this perspective of, you know, serving others that um, wouldn't be there if you're not in alignment, because when you're not in alignment, it's all about you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It, it's that law of attraction, you know, and, yeah. and being that light for others and helping them to be their beautiful light. Right. And yeah. you've been, I know from, from just knowing you, you've been like this really for many years, even before you got sick, because I know that you had um, a period of time that you were working in Haiti, right? Yes. Would you like to talk about that and how that all came about mm -hmm. and what work you did there? Yeah. I mean, alignment, you know, my service in Haiti, <clears throat> excuse me, started when, you know, I decided that, you know, I was, um, I wanted to make a bigger impact in the world. Like I wanted to, like I had this fascination of traveling and serving, you know, kind of in the same sentence, right? And, uh, and I wanted to grow myself. I've always been that kind of person that wanted to grow so that I could help a lot of people. And I knew that being in Haiti, I would be able to hopefully make a difference, um, you know, cause here you are, you're, you know, a group of 10, that was our story. You know, we were the first group in after the coup d'etat in um, 91. So I was in Peace Corps from 96, 1996, 1998. I was 26 at the time. And um, I mean, really talking about being in alignment when you're in a country like that, my saving grace was 
I need to go out and help people to get my mindset shifted so that I knew I was making a difference somewhere. I mean, honestly, like <laughs> I was out of alignment in depression because I was alone. You know, I was, you know, it was the most extraordinary experience ever. I mean, it is a country that is just like full of brightness and love in the midst of poverty. Like, I don't know how else to say it. It was, it was very um, powerful in how I rose through the depression that I experienced there. And I just, I just had to see the giving cycle come back. So every morning I would get up there and I would, in order to get myself in alignment, to be that bright light there, I would say, okay, who am I going to help today? Who am I going to go? That's all I need to think about is who am I going to go? You know, I'm going to go, go help the women at the river wash their clothes and I'm going to go help them in the kitchen. It had nothing to do with why I was in Haiti. But in order for me to gain the trust and develop the relationships and to pay it forward, they needed to trust me. And so that alignment in service allowed me to integrate into the community a little bit quicker and to be able to make a bigger difference. So alignment has to do with relationships. You know, alignment has to do with, um, stepping beyond the programming that we have going on in our brains that take us to this place of unworthiness. I mean, honestly, mm -hmm. I mean, it, when you're out of alignment, you don't believe you're worthy. Right. So right. if there's a worthy issue going on, it's really about identifying that you are worthy and yeah. finding someone who believes in you before you believe in you, because that is, we all have a purpose in this world, <laughs> you know, and we all need, you know, it's, I almost look at it as a responsibility. Like I need to stay in alignment for other people to, you know, at, you know, as something I can do for other people, but also this world needs people that are in alignment. That's all mm. I'm saying. I mean, yeah. Honestly, yeah. I mean, it's there's, no room for, there's a lot of people that are out of alignment because, you know, you can tell, you can, you can feel it, but when you are in alignment and things are moving with ease, you know, find other people that are, that are doing the, doing what they do. Um, to make a difference or have a common goal or something. So, so if if somebody's you know watching this and thinking, well, the idea of living in alignment sounds great. Um, I like these ideas, <laughs> but I feel like I'm so far away from finding how I can be part of that alignment. What what could you say? Like one thing someone could latch on to just as a start. Like, okay, I could do that. Well, yeah. what's one thing that you would recommend to someone who really wants to find this alignment with harmony and peace and their real mission and purpose? You just have to decide. You just have to decide that the stories that you have right now are not the story of your future, right? And I think, you know, deciding, you know, could mean that you sit and meditate for 10 minutes a day where a meditation could be like, I feel like meditation just brings us down to, you know, our ability to channel what's next for our, ourselves, our ability to, um, to feel grounded, our ability to um, hear what we need to hear, right? So meditating, and it doesn't have to be an hour a day in the morning and an hour at night, it can be a 10 minute meditation where, you know, you just find a quiet space and you just turn off all the music and the electronics and you just are present with your breath. I mean, it can be as simple as that and that can turn it around. Um, mm, that's good. Practicing gratitude um, is a quick way to shift it. Really taking account for the things in your life that you're, that you, that are important and, you know, writing a thank you note. Like I love, like when I need to shift out of like the me place, cause I mean, frankly, it's like we all are going in and out of alignment daily. Mm -hmm. Right. And so to get back into the alignment or to keep it going could be just having a stack of thank you cards right next on your desk and saying, who am I going to thank today? And mm -hmm. just popping it in the mail, you know, mm -hmm. a postcard, you know, people oh, heck, you, these days you can even send a text to somebody, right? Exactly. Just you can send, send a, a text. text. I, yeah. I know I'm old school. I love getting a postcard um, <laughs> in the mail. So I'm like upping the, the, uh, the appreciation on the other end by sending right. like something physical, but true, true you know, you could add like a, a, a really cool, funny GIF or a, you know, you could do something really beautiful on your, you know, on a text thread too. But, um, you know, and I think, yeah, I think the gratitude, becoming the best version of ourselves, paying attention to what you're putting in your body. I mean, you know, 
we all have the, you know, the sugar battle. We all have, you know, ways in which, you know, we can feel our mental states decline, you know, mm. as we, you know, move through the day. So I think it's really important to, you know, just be intentional with what we're eating. Um, mm. You know, if you can get a plant-based diet in there, like one day a week, you know, and make that kind of your thing, you know, you'll feel good about it. So mm. it, it's, again, it's, it's like those little things very quickly to being in alignment. Well, that's yeah. beautiful. You know, we always reach this sad point in these chats where we do have to bring it to a close because we respect people's time and we value everybody who's come on to watch and, and just share the ideas with us. So, you know, we just want to say here at Activate and Thrive, we we uh, fundamentally are working with something that Sarah talked about, a very uh, exciting breakthrough technology that relates to, to activating the body's ability to do certain things it was made to do, like keep, uh, you know, reduce stress, increase uh, mitochondrial function, and just keep us uh, as healthy as we go forward and age gracefully in life. So I'm, Sarah is, is involved with these beautiful products and this technology as we are. And we have found for sure for us that it's absolutely a part of finding alignment, knowing that our bodies are in alignment with what they are made to do. And that's really what alignment is, be, being at one with what you are made to be. So if, if you want to ask us any more about that aspect, just the sheer kind of physical side of having your body be in alignment, we'd be very happy to share more with you. If you want to just uh, pop us a message here on, in this uh, live or on YouTube or on Instagram and just ask us more, we'd be happy to share. Sarah would be happy to engage. Sarah, do you have a, a, a website or something that you would want to, to share or a uh, uh, or an email. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I'm putting together my first, you know, um, kind of YouTube channel, um, your guide to optimal health, Sarah Smith, your guide to optimal health. Um, you know, certainly, you know, feel free to, I, I can share my, my email address in the chat or something like that. If anybody wants Sounds to good. That. Yeah, that, yeah, that'd be good. If you, if you're willing to do that, that anybody can ask any further questions about alignment or activation. And we're just so very, very honored and happy to have had you with us today, Sarah. Thank you so much. And to our viewers, thank you for watching. And please look for us each Thursday at noon East Coast US time on our Facebook page, Activate and Thrive, where we do these chats with different people each week. Thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you and thank you, me. Activate and Thrive audience. Thank you. Thanks so much. Have a Bye, great everybody. weekend. Bye-bye.